word an offside, and the goal of this offside is to define the story. So we're going to talk about the insights and then pull together what is, in fact, the growth story for this new innovation. Um, after that, they'll have a brainstorm around how do you make that story come alive across time, across channels. So what we have is a set of employees from Bayer here at this offsite in order to actually define the story. Yeah, we find it super valuable to actually leave work. It's only a couple minute walk. We come here, we're all peers, we work together, we have the digital team represented, sales, global brand marketing, um, and global brand. And together, we will just have more clarity and we'll be able to focus on um, the true essence of what we need. Perfect. And the other thing that's really interesting about here is this notion of um, optimism. How do you create a culture of optimism? So I asked Leslie to have um, the beginning part of this meeting um, designed around a few exercises that we talk about in order to create that culture of optimism. So let's go. All right. So uh, thanks for coming, you guys. Yeah, we have some work to do. Yeah. We have some work to do today, but before we start, let's just loosen up a little bit and let's just do the number counting game. So remember, <laughs> we're going to count around and we're going to do it as fast as we can. Okay. So we're going to count to four and we're going to do it a couple times and we're going to do clap on the four. Okay? Okay. Just, okay. Who's starting? I'm can starting. Okay. You know, another one about core values and one of the things I love about being here is humor. And I still, you know, I think that there were these, there have been these igniting incidents over time that have created our brand. It didn't happen in one day, it's happened over a number of years. And it started with the founder. It started with Leslie. And when you meet Leslie, you know that she's a funny woman. She, you know, she cracks me up all the time and that has permeated through our organization from her. We're not ready to brainstorm, are we? No, okay. Try it. Yeah, we, okay. have to, we have to do this. You, you start. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. 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 Nice, nice. Well, I have a personal rule that you have to laugh really hard every single day. Uh, I think there have been studies on humor and lengthening your life. And personally, humor is a big, big part of my life. And I find that when people are laughing around here, they want to stay longer and be pro more productive and the customers can feel your humor because it's tongue in cheek. Oh my gosh, if we took our lives that seriously at work, no one would want to come to work every day. All right, so in a minute, we're going to be pulling together stories for this product uh, challenge that we have. So to get us warmed up, why don't we do our own personal six word story? So think about something that applies to you right now, this place in your life. Six word story. Who wants to give it a shot spontaneously? Mine would be, I've moved a lot and eat often. Let's see, can we count that? I've moved a lot and eat often. A lot is a lot. No, a lot is two words, but go. That's all right, we'll let you go. American husband, have fun, work hard. Do you have an American husband or do you want one? I want one? No, I've got one. I've got one. Say yes, be strong, laugh hard. Everyone. We're selling makeup at the end of the day, and, and so we do things to keep that humor um, injected into our, our daily work. And those are things like, you know, Leslie will just pop up and do an impromptu dance party on a Friday afternoon and pull everybody together. So when you think about that, as stupid as it sounds, and you are, you know, you're, you're head to the desk, you're, you're do, in your work, and you are, you could be frustrated, you might be having a bad day, that provides this relief, this moment for everybody to kind of see each other in a different way than as work colleagues. So we try and bring humor in. We have happy hours, I think, every damn week or every, it seems like every day here we do these impromptu happy hours. And then for me, I was like a couple of years ago, I want to have one day a year where we close the office, we go off site, and we just enjoy each other. And we did our first one last year, we call it Bear Day. And I'm telling you, what you see in those moments is you see the real culture. I saw this like fierce competitiveness where everybody's like, I've got to get a better costume than she has and they're trying to win the race and it's like, it's fierce. But you see the humor and you see people connecting. And that connection is then what makes their work so much better when they come back to the office.